All right, so in this lecture, we are going to take a look at uh, how to make use of the open bus for the reveal scanner to actually perform a bone reveal scan upon our target. So I'm on the Cal Linux machine here. So I'm going to launch my terminal. I'll just come up here, over here to the menu, click uh, here. And then uh, I like using the XFCE terminal. So I'll just write XFCE and then launch it. All right, so the XFCE terminal uh, has launched. So let me zoom it a little. Uh, now I'm going to launch uh, the open bus vulnerability scanner. So I'm just type the command sudo uh, open bus uh, open bus start. Now this will this command will launch the open bus vulnerability scanner. And then next, what I'm going to do, I'll just go to the and uh, launch my Firefox browser so that I can access the web interface of the open bus uh, vulnerability scanner. So I'll just come here and type Firefox, then uh, hit and click on this launch the Firefox uh, web browser and then I'll go to the Windows machine that I'm going to perform the scanning on uh, uh, let me get the IP address of the uh, since I'm not scanning the whole of the network if I was scanning the whole of the network then I'll just supply the network range uh, the whole of the network range and then uh, the whole of the subnet I'll just repeat in the whole of the subnet to the Open bus vulnerability scanner and the open bus vulnerability scanner will scan the whole of the computers that are connected to that network. But in this case, I just want to to save time. This is this is a lecture for lecture for force to save time. I'm just going to scan one or uh, one target. So I just get the IP address of this particular Windows computer, Windows 10 computer, and then I'm going to input that in the open bus vulnerability scanner so that I can scan this particular house computer so i can see that this having the ip address of 10.0.2.15 and the default gateway is 10.0.2.1 so that means they are in the same uh, subnet with the car linux machine i can also think i can to confirm that i can think the car linux machine which is ip address 10.0.2.19 which is the ip address of the car linux machine so if i'm able to ping uh 10 so i know that i'm very sure that we are in the same network so as we can see we have sent four packets received four packets and we didn't lose any packets so that means that we have successfully been able to ping the car linux machine so we are on the same network with the kali box so i will go back to the car linux machine and then i see my open bus vulnerability scanner okay so this was what i was previously working on let me close it so uh, as we have launched the open bus vulnerability scanner okay so fail to start open bus vulnerability system daemon okay so we are going to have issue here even if we go to the uh web interface but let's go to it and you see the issue because it's telling us that uh the this thing did, did not start fail to start open bus vulnerability assessment system manager daemon so it didn't start so it's going to we are going to have an issue while trying to log into the open bus uh vulnerability scanner from the web interface so let me go to the web interface of the open bus vulnerability scanner all right so as uh, if i want to log in let me log in uh, the, uh, the username and the password is already there so as you can see we are having this issue this error login failed felt waiting for omp service to become available so to uh, resolve this issue uh we are going to go back to the terminal because it's telling us that uh open uh fail to start open bus vulnerability assessment system manager demon to so to, to uh, start the open bus vulnerability assessment system manager demon all you have to do come type the command sudo uh, open bus md uh, manager demon open bus open bus manager demon and then then it's just like uh, uh start the command start and then hit enter so so we can go back and try to see whether we'll be able to log in now this time so let me go back to the login page and then try to log in still we have not been able to okay so let me uh then um there's a command that we need to also run so run this command sudo uh hc uh init uh, uh, d and then open um, bus uh, open bus manager uh, open bus uh, manager then start now this will start the open bus manager so if the open bus we have started the open bus system manager daemon and then now we want to start open bus manager so if, if this uh, 
commands successfully went through, then we'll be able to log into the web interface of the OpenBus vulnerability scanner. Okay, so uh, we are having the that the uh, OpenBus manager also couldn't start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the OpenBus uh, web scanner and then rest, uh, restart it all over again. So I'll just run the command sudo uh, OpenBus uh, stop. Uh, open bus uh, stop all right so this will stop uh the open bus that we initially started and then i'm going to restart it again so and then open bus uh start okay so still we are unable to start the open bus vulnerability assessment system manager d1 so this is the uh, issues we generally encounter with this uh open bus vulnerability scanner but still i'm going to i'm not going to relent I'm going to uh, restart the open bust and then uh, let me run this command stop. Okay, then uh, start. Start it. Now I'm going to run the system manager. We started the we started the demon now, so I'm going to also this uh, stop. Uh, then start. Okay, so uh, we have successfully started the open bus uh, manager, uh, open bus service manager, uh, system manager rather. So, uh, so now we are going to go to the web interface and then try to log in and see whether we will successfully log into the open bus web interface. So I just go to the browser here and then uh, I'll go back to the login page and then try to log in. Click on login, enter my username and password, and then try to log in. All right, as long as we have successfully logged into the Open Bus vulnerability scanner. Now, uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to click on the scans uh, tab here, and then go to tasks, and then click on tasks. All right, so and then come here, click on uh, new task, uh, task, task wizard. Uh, sorry, task, uh, task wizard. Click on the task wizard. Okay, so and then uh, here we are going to specify we are going to input the IP address of the Windows 10 machine 10 uh, 0 to 15 10 0 to 15 and then just click on start scan. All right, so and then okay, I'm going to stop this. So this was a scan I was initially started. Uh, I was working on uh, Windows uh, Metasploitable machine, so I'm going to okay so okay sorry this is the, the one of uh, uh i was working on on meta exploitable 2 so i'm going to stop this let me stop this one um, delete it move to trash can okay so this is the, this is the uh windows uh, scanning of windows 10 that we started so i'll just click on it and then i can go and edit uh right okay so we want to edit it so to edit it you just click on this uh, uh, sp uh spanner icon so that we can edit it and input a name that we can easily identify the uh, scan of the Windows 10. So I will click uh, change here. Uh, okay, so Windows uh, 10 scan. Windows 10 scan, Windows 10 scan, then the IP address of the Windows 10. So it is working for me. I can easily identify that this is a scan for Windows 10 that we are performing on. All right, so I can go back to the page okay so as we can see we are in, all right so let me refresh this page okay so as we can see our scan of windows 10 is running and it is already uh, at one percent so we can be refreshing this page to see the amount of progress we have made on the scan of the windows 10 machine that we are performing uh, open bus vulnerability scan on all right so uh this will take us okay so and uh, we have successfully scanned uh windows 10 uh, with the open bus vulnerability scanner so we can see it is done then we can click on this to see the report to see detailed report about uh, what and what we were able to find uh, as a result of the vulnerability scan of windows uh, 10 machine all right so click on this all right so here is the result of the vulnerability scan uh, we are performed on uh, Windows 10 machine and we couldn't find any vulnerability. There's not any vulnerability result that we are able to discover on that uh, Windows 10 uh, machine. 